Yo, what's up guys? Chase the Bro here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Alabaster Lord's Sword. In the recent patch, it's Ash of War Alabaster Lord's Pull got a nice buff. The first and most important change they made to the Ash of War was they increased the poise during the casting of the Ash of War. So while the animation is still on the slow side, in my opinion, it's a little bit easier to land because you can poise trade enemies that try to attack into you, and then you can get the pull and try to follow up with an R2, or maybe something like a jump attack afterwards if they panic roll. It's just a nice way to pull a few of the enemies that are maybe half or lower health towards you. That way you can try to get another roll catch strike afterwards. And then they also increase the attack power of the Ash of War. So when you do land it, you're going to be doing higher damage now. Always nice. Again, since in my opinion, it's a little on the slow side, so it does deserve some pretty good damage output. As for the moveset of the weapon, it is a greatsword, so it does get the standard greatsword moveset kit, the vertical two-handed lights, the horizontal slash two-handed heavies. Nothing really unique going on with this weapon other than its Ash of War, which is what we're going to try to focus on for the showcase for today. As for the scaling of the weapon, it is primarily a strength scaling weapon. you think it would have a little bit better intelligence scaling, but it does not. Now, I did try a few different stat allocations to see if I could make that work. Maybe go half and half with the strength and the intelligence. But I lost out on around 50 AR when I did do that. So it's much more worthwhile to invest in the strength first and just go for the minimum intelligence. As for my choice of talismans, my first slot, I always start off with the Ritual Shield Talisman, at least in the duels to enhance my defense until I take the first hit, and then I'll probably swap it to the Claw Talisman to enhance the jump attacks, since I do plan to also dual wield the swords. I have the Shard of Alexander to boost the Ash of War, and then I have the Crimson Armor Medallion plus 2 for the HP boost, and the Great Jars Arsenal for the Equip Load boost. Those are all the changes I really have to talk about, so let's just see how it performs now in the duels and in the invasions. Alright, jumping into our first battle, we have the Black Swordsman, hello there! With the great sword, not a surprise really. <laughs> Honestly, that weapon does look amazing. Aesthetically, I like it. Even though the crouch pokes aren't as strong as they once were. Jumping L1. <laughs> All right, he's kind of prepared for that. Can I backstab that? No. Double thrust. Ooh, I think he was gonna do yeah the catch flame or yeah. I forgot about that. He had the pyromancy in his offhand. Ooh, right on that resolve. <laughs> I do want to try to land the Ash of War though. That's what I have been trying to test. <laughs> what, what can I get off that? Oh, he actually attacked out of it. Wasn't expecting that at all. Oh, I really wanted to jump it. <laughs> Would have been very cool. <laughs> Maybe an R2. Nice. <laughs> okay, that worked really well. Very fun fight, man. I pulled him right out of the air. <laughs> Here comes our next opponent, uh, Krill. Hello there, Krill. How are you, man? Hey! Wielding the greatsword. I always forget the name of whatever that greatsword is. You think I wouldn't? Because I've been showcasing most of the weapons by this point, but I do. I forget. All right, I do want to open with my Ash of War. Because <laughs> it's fun. Not because I think it's going to be the most effective or anything. I won. Oh, my want to backstab is strong, but the effectiveness of it is not. Follow up. <laughs> we did this. We did that exact same interaction uh, a few times. No, I wasn't expecting that. No. I want my jump attack talisman. Trade. Decent trade for me. Oh, oh, he wants to backstab. I really do like that. It's just, it's hard to land sometimes now. Oh, we popped the bubbles here. You're not prepared for this. No, no, no. You don't know exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> nice! I made it look like I was going to go for a backstab, but instead I landed the Ash of War. <laughs> Follow up! <laughs> Delete R1 into Ash of War. R2 was smart there. I actually almost panic rolled early. Thrust! <laughs> Very fun fight, man. Well, I'll take it. We happen to land the thrust into the ground part of the Ash of War. That's, that's a first. Moving on to our next battle, and look who I found. Hello, Link. Hey. It's been a while. I've been fighting your evil counterpart. It's been different. You're a lot cooler. Get it? Because he uses frostbite. <laughs> Yes, my dad jokes can sometimes be on point. Sometimes. Depends on the day, really. 
Oh, the bastard. <laughs> uh, Alright, Link. I'm coming in hot with my jump attacks. Bam. Into the pole. No. <laughs> that was too close for comfort. Oh, I wanted to backstab that. <laughs> Didn't work well, though. Backstep running attack. Is it time for us to both pull out the do wield soon? <laughs> okay, that's pretty funny. Follow up. And then another. And then I thrust into the ground. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh my god. I, I think it looked like it was like right outside the range of the pull, but yeah, it happened to connect. Very fun fight, Link. It was amazing seeing you, man. Up next, we have Karin. Oh, hey, Karin. We had a very close fight in the Axe of Godfrey showcase. I kind of feel like that one should have been a draw, but my jump attack denied Karin <laughs> the finish. <laughs> Alright, Karin, I'm coming in. Starting off with a jump attack. For whatever reason, they work pretty well against Colossals. I don't know why. I do want to land my Ash of War here, though. Alright, we do this. <laughs> okay, that was not a good trade. I didn't think Karin would pull that off during the attack. Karin did. Oh, I, I got Frostbitten, but because I dodged, I didn't take the damage. Oh, I keep trying to jump Colossals. It's completely my own bad. <laughs> the wind attack. It's decent. I feel like when you see it coming, though, it's pretty easy to avoid. Oh, the triple R2 is coming, isn't it? I fear. Yeah, so it doesn't combo. I thought it would. You get two hits out of it, though. I feel like it, it deserved to do a little bit more damage, but... Huh. I don't know. <laughs> we both missed there. Oh, God. That was very damaging. Very close fight again, Karin. I love the use of the Watchdog Sword. Really cool with the, with the R2 of the Warcry. Moving on to our next hey. opponent, we have... Oh, that is not how you gesture. Hello, hey. Legend Gary. <laughs> okay. Wielding the Zweihander. Oh, you don't have to do that. I know you're not going to heal, man. Okay. Uh, you can drink your, your buff flask, Gary. <laughs> I feel like a lot of people do that. Well, not a lot. I've had a few do that as they get summoned, though. I guess they don't notice that most people won't heal in general, even if they have it. Ooh. I mean, it already does, like, the maximum poise damage. I guess they, it's just for a buff. That's totally fair. Oh. <laughs> I was I was going to test if we could hyper armor, and then, like, mid-click of the Ash of War, I realized, yeah, that's a colossal. <laughs> that's not going to go well. But. <laughs> that's a good finish. <laughs> Very fun fight, man. That was the second person we landed that on mid-jump. Very effective if they jump. <laughs> Moving on to our final opponent, we have John Maidenless with what looks like a great sword. I too have a great sword. What is yours? The Flambers. Yes, I can see. I can see by the wavy blade. All right, John Maidenless has. I don't exactly know what point or what physics he's using. Oh, hey, this could be a decent wake up. Ah. One thing I do want to try from the pull as well, if I happen to land the pull, that is. It might be a little bit easier in invasions to do, uh, but I want to try to jump attack out of it. <laughs> I like how we're both like hesitant on the neutral R ones right away. <laughs> that was an attempt at a backstab. I didn't see it going well, but it didn't. <laughs> so I was right. Honestly, the neutral L1s are very good at people that react really well to standard lights and stuff. Oh, very fun fight, John. Just because it's a little bit on the slow side, so if someone rolls around you and you go to attack, they'll dodge a little early. Alright, now let's just see how these perform in the invasions. Jumping into the first invasion, and I'm at the beginning of Crumbling Ferrum Zulu. I've never invaded here. Aw, oh, and they're not actually up here. This would have been such a nice battleground. Wow. Oh, hello, Alucard. Got any teammates? Hello. Oh, it's a, it's a full Crucible Knight cosplay. It kind of looked like that at first. Just 
didn't really cue in until I realized it. Burst your bubble! <laughs> oh, the power of jump sometimes. It really throws you off. <laughs> I think you're going to get a trade midair, but you don't. Hey, I'll pull you away from the ledge. Don't go near the ledge. It's dangerous. <laughs> Delay that a little bit for a roll catch that we didn't get. Ooh. That was worth the trade. 700. Oh, I thought I dodged. <laughs> yeah, 700 from a jumping L1. Pretty powerful. Very fun fight though, man. Interesting battle zone too. I've never fought like right in this area at the beginning. Moving into the next invasion. We are at the brace of the Halig tree. And we've invaded we. Oh jeez, I almost just jumped off. Because <laughs> that enemy appeared out of nowhere. Oh, hello guys. Uh, oh nice. I like your outfit. Very golden. I'm just going to pull you. Come here. <laughs> he wanted to get pulled. <laughs> Maybe this would be a good wake up. No, he went all the way back. He was prepared. Oh, enough poise that this didn't hurt him. <laughs> this poor guy. And his rivers of blood L2. <laughs> I kind of think they're going to like double aggress me when I go to cast that, but they never do. And they both have the gold shield. <laughs> Cute. I pull you. Actually, I don't want to kill those first. That'd be sad. Oh, but there's a blue on the way. <laughs> and that blue has... I don't know. Is that Horaloo? I love Aster Pull! <laughs> Trying to hit me with your jump attack. Neutral L1s. Ooh. Is that a war cry? <laughs> Hey, sneaky blue, sneaky. I like it. Oh, that's about That would have been a good time for you to land a good hit there, Mr. Blue, but you didn't. Oh, Mr. Blue down. I need my FP back. Whoa! <laughs> okay. Well, the host is kind of separated. Oh, and the host is kind of done. Oop. <laughs> nice backstab on Goosea. Oh, and then we get to finish with the, with the Ash of War. Okay. All in all, very fun invasion. Moving into our next invasion, and we are back in the Halig Tree. This time spawned a little ahead, so maybe they're a little bit more in to the area. Oh, I'm definitely hearing some casting and some stuff. Taking the shortcut down. Hey there. Now what if I were to just insert myself? Dodge your moon... Not moon veil, but... <laughs> Hello! <laughs> My alabaster pull. Oh, that enemy is so strong. Honestly, I want to let him finish it before I fight, fight him. Unfortunate. <laughs> well, you guys fought well. I just kind of ambushed from above. Oh, and our final one's going to be in the subterranean shunning grounds. Hello. Oh. What? <laughs> Not enough recovery time to backstab that. Ah! But that one was. <laughs> I'm still trying out this as a wake up. Cause I feel like on occasion, depending on how they decide to go about what, ah, uh, <laughs> nice. All right, maybe a little bit later. I did like a little footstep forward there. Let's see if it changed anything. It did not. Very fun fight though. 
Bad luck, Smokey. Now, let me get a buff here. He is below. Hello, hosty. <laughs> oh, I like your outfit. Hey, you're a dual wielding knight. I also will dabble in the dual wield. You have to dabble in the health, my my good knight. <laughs> you must invest. <laughs> All right, those are all the battles that I have for you guys for today with the Alabaster Lord Sword. I hope everyone enjoyed the revisit to the weapon. Once again, there's my stats on the right, the armor that I wore, the talismans that I utilized throughout the showcase, and of course, keep commenting your weapon recommendations below. Even if I have used it in a prior video, if it did get an update from the recent patch, feel free to recommend it. Until the next video, though, I will see you all next time. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.